here students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally prime youtube channel my name is babu rao from hyderabad before entering the topic today an advice to you advice to every visitor if you want to learn tally prime with gst pds tcs everything perfectly and uh, get expert knowledge and become expert accountants please watch all my videos in the same order in which i uploaded and practice them well then you will get expert knowledge and you will become the expert accountant and the next one is generally tell this at the end of the video but now i am telling in the the beginning itself that is every visitor i mean every person visiting my channel please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed if you subscribed already so that's all only once only you can subscribe so otherwise you subscribe definitely to my channel and click the bell icon and select all option there and you will get notification for all the videos we which i upload in this channel and then share my channel smart tally prime with all your friends not only friends with everyone either students or working accountants who want to learn tally prime gst tds tcs everything you please share with them and important thing is every video you please watch the video i mean every video till the end of the video don't skip in the middle because when you select when you start a topic in this video any video first of all we will discuss about the topic then any rules under that one and any settings to be made all this we will discuss like here and then we will go to the practical part so we we'll go to the tally prime and we will see how to implement this rules as well as the settings in tally prime and then we will make the entries how to record the entries the transactions in the tally prime so if you skip the video in the middle you will just you can see and you can hear only the video i mean uh, theory part of the topic and then the practical part in the video i mean uh, tally prime you cannot understand so please watch the video till every video till the end of the video and after that if the video is good please i mean uh, like my channel by clicking the thumb icon and then in the after the description there are there is uh, the, i mean but the video i mean uh, comment section under the comment you please definitely without fail please post a comment about your your idea about the, i mean your idea about the this video whether it is good or how is it and is there any problem anything you cannot understand please everything you please post your comment it is a, a comment it is only the communication between me between you and between me okay so please so definitely post the comment about this video and now we will enter into the topic today so i will share the screen see here today we are going to discuss two topics but small, small topics only we are going to discuss two topics in this video the first one is how to send tally data this tally data to ca or any concept ca means auditor chartered accountant or consultant or any other person that is any others in others in tally prime how to send that is others means any others means our uh, head office to branch office or branch office to head office and then and uh, the ca generally ca will be asking us to send the data so how to send the, the data to ca or the consultant okay and then and the next one is how to use calculate in tally prime this is actually we will have a calculator in the system in the system in the laptop or desktop we will have a calculator that one or you can use a external calculator so not that in the tally prime itself a calculator is built in with 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 lot of advanced features in the tally prime particularly the lot of advanced features we have so with the help of that we can make the calculations very easily so we will see how to Open, use the calculator. How to open the calculator? How to close the calculator? How to make the calculations? And all these options we will discuss in the calculator. 
body. So first of all, we will go to the tally data. See here, already we know, we discussed already at the time of opening a new financial year. So changing the financial year means closing one year, March 31st, and entering the first October, uh, first April of the next year, that is beginning of the year. So in that case, when you are changing the financial year, all the balances remaining, that is called closing balances at the end of last year will be brought forward to this year to bring that what you will is one of there are many methods. One of the methods is you export the data in that the in data at the end of the last year, export the data and import the data into the at the beginning of this year into the data into the in this year into the into the uh, daily this year. So in that case we learned already, but in that case we as for that is uh, carry forward the data only the balances. So the all the masters, accounting masters, statutory masters, and, and, I mean uh, inventory masters, all the masters will be trans exported along with the masters. The balances only the balances the balance sheet that is only the real and personal the nominal accounts will not be transferred to next year. So only the balances remaining in the balance sheet only will be transferred. So all the masters with only the balance balances of shown in the balance sheet, they will be carried forward. But here, the total data from the beginning of the year till the end of the year or till the date when you are sending, till the date, the total data should be sent to him to make some workings or to make some at the end of the year, making the finalization of accounts or anything. We have to send them the total data. So that is what we have learned, how to send the data, how to send the data to the CA. So we go here. See here, when I'm sending the data, there are two methods of sending it. Already we learned, we know, so sometime back, we learned, I, I made videos twice, long time back and again, few days back also. How to take backup of the data, backup of the data means, see here, for example, in this company, in this, this company, our data is our data is in D drive, tally frame, data means the database. So in the tally frame folder, the data is available. So all the companies. So the data is available here. And wherever you make the entries, it will be saved in this folder only. That is in this drive only, in this drive, in the tally frame folder under the data folder, it will be saved. This is called the original data. So when you are entering the transaction, it is the original data. So when the original data will be available in this tally, right? So if there is any problem in this uh, data is corrupted or the, by mistake, the company is deleted, in all these cases, the data, everything will be lost. So for that, as a precautionary measure, we copy this data and keep this copy of the data in some other drive. That is that some other place. In place means drive. So in some other place means in some other drive, we will keep the copy of this data. It is copy. So copy of keeping the copy of this data or copying this data to some other place, that is some other drive, is called backup of data. So we already discussed how to backup. So if something happens to this data, so that can be brought back. That is, that can be brought back and uh, kept in. Again, that can be brought back to this drive, to the original place. It is called bringing back, means it is called restore the data. So how to know, how to back up the data and how to restore the data, we discussed already. So here, when you have to send to the other place, that is to our office, other head, head office, our branch office, or to the auditor, to anywhere, if you want to send, the one method is that backup data, so backup data will be available in some other folder, that is in some other drive. So from that drive, that backup folder, that is backup data folder, can be sent to the auditor by email. That is one method. Second method is, so we are recording the data in our original drive. That is drive, isn't it? So this original data also can be sent. Instead of that, so maybe sometimes there will be a problem. If we send that, there will be a problem. It will not be correct. And when they are opening that, they cannot be, they may not be able to open. So there may be some problems when you send the copy data. That is only copy. Copy of this data, that is the backup data we are sending. Instead of that, if you send the original, it will be good. So the original data that is available in 
read write. So the original data can also be sent to the auditor. So these two methods. So the first will take up the first method, how to send the data. See here, first method, how to send the backup data. Here, see here, we have how many days, see how many drives we have. So our data is in C drive. C drive, you never keep any software that is our tally frame software. You never keep in C drive because there will be a lot of problems in C drive. We will be getting virus. Sometimes you have to, um, what you call, uh, update the C drive and you have to format the digital. In such a case, all the data, everything will be gone. That is why don't install software. Never install the software in C drive. Okay, we'll talk. And among all the others, and our stock, you can install our software that is the tally frame, data, everything in any other drive. But our drive, our data is in our tally frame is in D data. So E, F, G, H is reserved for Google Drive. So H, G, E, F, G are there. So out of this, you check up in which folder you have a lot of space. So here in the E folder, we have a lot of space, E folder. Okay, you can take in the E folder. RG folder, so we can back up. So now, how to back up the data, copy data and keep it. So in such a case, how to back up the data, we know already. So go to Alt Y, go to backup, go to back, select the backup. Then here, select the backup path. This is select the company for backup and path also. This path you can select here. We can give, let's see here. Uh, if you go like this, F, G. So in F, what are the, things available and in G also, what are the selects from drive? We go to G also, what are the things available? So we'll go to F drive, we'll go to F drive. So here you can select F drive here or you can specify the path. So here you can specify F drive, colon, backspace, and you can say uh, what's company, something, the company name is, for example, BRS. You know, smart, uh, smart, smart backup, smart backup today is 23, 23, 3, 23, 3, 23, 5, 23, 5, 23. So this is done. Yeah. And you can take up today's date, date is not required. So smart backup, okay. You can create it. So it will ask me. So there is no folder in your drive with this name. Smart backup folder is not available there. Do you want to create new one? Okay, yes, create new one. Or in in advance, we can create, I can select that also. So that is created. So you have drive smart backup. So now you enter. So that can go to the path. See, backup destination path. That's path we selected. And in this case, our original data is here. In this case, which one you want to send? That is which one you want to they send the backup to the auditor. So select smart backup. So you give the name also, smart backup. Select that. So if you want to send one, select one, yeah, no. then go to the end of list. Or if you want to select another one, select another one. So it will also go, then go to the end of list. Otherwise, in the beginning itself, if you want to send all the uh, companies back up, I mean, uh, all the companies to back up, then select all items. So now we want only this one and then go to end of list. So accept. If you accept, that will be taken back up. So it is back up. Now we will go to see it is in uh, F drive. So we will go to F drive. See in F drive, see smart backup is available. Smart backup is smart backup is available. Okay. Now what we do is not what we do is we will send this backup file to auditor. So through mail, through email, go to email, go to email. I am taking the email and in the email, I am giving the auditor address. You have to give, see, compose and you have to give the auditor email address. So I have to give the auditor email address. Just, I, just to show you, I will give my address, my, my address itself. This I am selecting this, the same thing. And here you can give smart backup. And then go to this one, select, go to the upload page. This is the upload page. Then our drive should be open. So in this case, our backup file is in your drive. So you have drive, see here, smart backup. Select that. Select that. So this is the file. This is the actual 
the data data file will be in the name of tbk900 and underscore our company number id number so the number is shown tbk300 means tbk means tally data so select that automatically it come here so open just it will attach here so file is attached then we will send it see here the other auditor which address we have given so it will reach there so it will reach our give my address so it reached here so they will open this and they will download this they will download this and after downloading from download folder they will take and they will keep this folder from download folder they will copy and they will keep in some folder some drive in some drive and from that drive they will take back i mean uh, restore they will restore go to the page restore here so they will go here restore and if restore it will ask you the where the data restore means the original data is here so this is the restoration path and from where we have to get it back so suppose we saved it in some folder not in a folder we saved there the auditor he saved in g folder so he will select from drive you will go to g folder g drive in the g drive the backup that is not a backup will be available so you will select that and you will enter end of list automatically it will go and automatically it will be loaded into the i mean it will be brought back or restored in their tally file in their tally file so they can open they can do whatever the work they want they will do and after that in the same way they will back to take backup and are in the same way they will send to us in our inner case also just we will download that keep in some folder and restore into our account in restore into our tally so this is one method that is sending the copy of the data that is copy of the data not original copy of the data called backup so backup file we are sending that is one method in such in the in the stuff that if you send the original data it will be good if you send the original data it will be good in that case what we do is here i am deleting this i am deleting this one in the center mail also not available okay i will deleting this and in the backup file also i am deleting backup file is in in g drive yeah yeah drive sorry in f drive i am deleting the deleting the backup also i am deleting the backup also okay so delete that okay. now we will go to that second method the second method is we have to send the data that is the original data to the data so how to send the original data where is the data so we have to send this data of this company so just you go here you can go all to f3 all the companies are available in d drive tally file or if simply you can see this where is this you can see here go to all to right click it at the end you see at the bottom data path data path of this data path c c d tally frame data so that is the data path and then we require the number also so here we require the number all to f3 to see so it's not tally frame number is 10004 remember that because that why you have to send because in the drive in the d drive names will not be available only the numbers will be available so we have to send the exact number it is 10004 now we we'll go to d drive so in the d drive so here tally frame d drive tally frame go to data in the data folder so there are number 1 2 3 4 see here see here If we go to all tier three. All the names are available. All the numbers are available, but the numbers are in serial order because the zigzag. Because in here it will display the names first, so they will display the names in alphabetical order. That is why number they will be zigzag. But here it will display only numbers. That is why it display in serial order. So we have to send now which one? Number four. We are sending number four. Is that is it correct? Number four. Not a tally frame number four, so we are sending that. Okay, we are sending that number four. So this number four you have to send. See here to send this number four, you could see just click and see there are a lot of files in that in that folder in the that number folder. There are these are all related to the company transaction files, language files, and so many files are there. All these files we cannot send separately. All these files you cannot send. Instead of that, simply we can send this number. Okay, but here since there are a lot of things, data will be a lot of data. So this we will send directly. The email will not accept because 
the file will be more. It will not take a lot, I mean, a lot of data. It cannot send. That is why this is to be, this file folder is to be made a small folder. That is, you should be reduced. That means you have to make it zip file. Zip file means making very small file. So we have to make it zip file. So for making zip file, everyone should have, everyone should have WinRare. That is WinRare one uh, zip file, one uh, software, that WinRare file, the software you can download from Google free of cost. Okay. So through that, we have to, whether uh, to make it zip, to unzip also, we, are, we require that file, that uh, software. That is why, see here, now, right click that, come here, add to 10,004.ram, 10, either that you can use, or come down, send it to the second one, send it to compressed zip. So either this or this, anything you can use, if you click that, immediately, see here, immediately, that file is see, made as, it is compressed as zip file, as see, WinRAR option. WinRAR means, WinRAR zip file. So it is completed, it is compressed at that point. Or you can do another thing, I am deleting that, we can do the, send it to here, send to compressed zip. This also we can do. This also we can do. So here, we can say as it is, or we can rename this also. This is, you can make it as smart, name, name of the, Smart also you can say. So in that, if you click that, the files will be, uh, it will not open now because it is zip file. Okay, so you see zip file. So if you send WinRAR, WinRAR.archive which day, if you make it to send to zip file, uh, compress, it will show as zip file. So this file we have to send. Okay, so here, where is the address? You click this and go to here, data, detail with data. Okay. So here, now this file we have to send. This file we have to send. So again, go to this file you have to attach. Go to email and I'm taking the other email. I'm, my email itself I'm taking. So I'll take my email here. here. So same mail I'm giving and you say smart backup. Same thing you can do and select it. Where is that? In the data folder that is the D drive here. The D drive Smart Dali Prime in the data folder. This is the folder smart. This is the folder. Just click. So it is attached. Smart.zip. Zip file is attached. Now we send this. We send this. And then, so the other person received that. What he has to do is, in the case of backup file, you can download and keep in some other folder and uh, restore. But here, he has to download this. After downloading this, so it is downloading. And you have to, it will be downloaded in the, see here, in the download folder. So in the download folder, this is a zip file. This cannot be sent to the, I mean, this cannot be restored in the tally drive. That's why what you have to do is, just call either, you have to unzip this. Unzip here and take to other folder. For unzipping, so click on the, take on the right click. In the right click, what you have to do is, you extract here. Extract here or extract to smart. Extract here means here itself, it will extract. See here, it is extracted. It is extracted. The number is 10,004. So it is extracted. So zip file became the file folder. Now you take this in the downloads. So you take what they will do, they will copy this. Not this is not required now. This is only file required. You copy this and keep in some folder. In some drive, in some folder, you keep that and then. They will go to the tally prime and then they will go restore. They will go restore and then they will, this is the file and they will select from the drive. Select from the drive. Where is that, that uh, unshipped file? They kept in some folder. I mean, in some drive, in some folder. So that is, they will select this and then they will select end of list. That's the only one. Then enter. So it will automatically, it will be restored. It will come to the tally prime. This tally prime. Then you can open and you can work properly there. Similarly, after completing the work, they will send to us. Then we also have to do a zip file if they send. We have to unzip that, take that into some folder and, and then uh, restore into our tally file. So it will be automatically 
it will be restored then we can open and open it. okay and when you are uh, restoring that already if the company name is available in such case you can do one thing with no two company two name two numbers you cannot accept in such case what we can do is we can go to e drive Valley drive data already so this we are, we are deleting this nothing so already number 4 is there number 4 is there 2000 there 10004 what we can do is we can do it we can change it we can change it to number 5 because that number is coming that will be 4 so that 4 will be replaced here this we can make it 5 in such case that that same company with number 4 that which is restored and same name company with number 5 both will be available in our galley drive so company same company will be available with two names that is one is four one is five like that you have to do so this is the thing about the galley data how to send it to ca or any person and it means your of the other offices also so so this is the thing first one and the next one is how to use the calculator how to use the calculator so how to use calculator okay how to use calculator in this case see when you are making the entries when you are making the entries payment entries or any entries sales purchase anything when you are making the entries we have to make some calculations if there are some calculations how you calculate see in the case of sales and purchases the calculations will be generally the taxes tds and also other other transactions will be taxes gst tds all these cases these will be calculated automatically because we make some settings for that we make some settings for that in such a case it will automatically calculate the taxes otherwise uh, in addition to that all other calculations we have to make manually for example we are making payment for payment we are making salaries we are paying so that we tell you first of all so we are we have to we have to pay salaries so when i am making the salaries here the sum amount is 5000 rupees so we will enter 5000 rupees for example if you have to calculate salary we are giving to four persons 5725 6892 7952 so these are all items we have to add them we have to add them so we have to add and we have to put the the total amount we have to enter there or sometimes we have to make some multiplications into we use star for multiplication plus and for deduction we use minus for um, division we use sl slash we use slash so that we use for division divided by that's we use so in this case how to make the calculations so for that we use the calculator given in the windows this is one built calculator in the windows or we can use a separate external calculator we make the calculations and you have to enter here for example 56000 56482 unit so while calculating by external calculator if you type that when you are typing the number or amount so there may be wrong we can type wrong for example 56482 by mistake we may have lost this it will be 5648 only or sometimes 56842 we may enter or 56,400, 54,600, like that. Some mistake we can commit. So there is a lot of chances for committing mistakes, isn't it? So in such case, in the Galley Prime software itself, Galley Prime software itself, one calculator is given, is built in, one built in calculator. With the help of that, we can make lot of calculations very easily and without any problem, without any error. Okay. so how to use that one where is the calculator where is the option so no option is there where is the option how to use the calculator such case see to open a calculator we have to use control n we have to use control n at the bottom of the tally page so that calculator will open so on the left side calculator on the right side this one and it will show in the blue color means the calculator is ready for working okay so if it is that means the calculator is active if the calculator is active that upper part is tally prime tally part the tally part is the upper one so the tally part will be disabled it will be deactive when calculator is active 
this part will be active. See here, this is blue color. Means it is active. So here, on the, on the top of that, the color is not blue. It is some gray color. So that means it is not active. So this is active. Suppose if you make the calculations here, if you want to make this tally active, just simply there are two methods. One with the help of mouse and another, another method is with the help of keyboard. So with the help of mouse, simply in the tally part, just click with the mouse. So it will be activated. See, now the calculator will be deactivated. It is deactivated and it is activated. So wherever you want to use this one calculator, click there, it will be activated. It will be, tally will be deactivated. Click in the tally part, so calculator will be deactivated and I mean, uh, tally will be activated. This is with the help of mouse. With the help of, with the help of keyboard also we can do. So when the calculator is active, we want to deactivate the calculator and activate the tally try. Simply click escape. If you click escape, so tally will be activated. This calculator will be deactivated. Again, if you want to activate tally, I mean, activate calculator, again, click control M. Control M. So tally is activated and uh, sorry, calculator is activated. Tally is deactivated. Again, escape. So up and up like this, we can use. Okay. So now I am using this. Here, there are, as I told you now, salaries we have to enter. So if you take this, see here, for example, 2525 plus 9,000. 542 plus 8,642. This is the amount. So in this case, these are the amounts and these amounts we have added and click enter on the upper part, that white part space. In this white space, that is called the result bar. That is calculate after calculate. This is calculation bar. This is the result bar. The result will be shown. So here, by seeing this result and then go to the tally part. So type that 20,589. So in this case also, there is a problem. Just like using the external calculator, here also, if you see the result, and when you are typing the result, there will be a problem. For typing the results, there will be a problem. Okay, in such case, in such case, there is another possibility, there is another one. So instead of that, so the result, by seeing this, if you type there, there is possibility of something mistake. Instead of that, if the result here, this is automatically uh, done here. This is automatically shown in the amount column also. Automatically shown. It will be better. There will be no error. So how to make that? How to do that? So that is, cal after calculating, the result figure will be automatically posted in the amount column. Then how to do that? How to do that? Here. For, for that, see here, we have to activate account this one cal calculator. You have to make the calculations, but here we need what we have to do is here when you want to make the calculations, so keep the cursor in the concern amount column, then click all to see. All to see means automatically the tally will be deactivated and the calculator will be activated. See, this is the same thing 2585 plus 9542 plus 8452. So, for example. See, this is the amount which you calculated. So here, now we are doing it in a different way. So in the amount column, keep the cursor, keep the cursor, click Alt C. Automatically, it will be deactivated. Tally will be deactivated. And uh, our calculator will be activated. And now make the calculation. And when we enter, it will show the result in the white paper, right part, in the upper part. It will show the result, isn't it? So it will show the result in the upper part. Automatically, the resulted figure amount will be automatically shown in the amount column also automatically without we need not type the amount see here here you see i can i have entered i press the enter so here it is showing the result and similarly immediately automatically the result amount is showing in the amount column so this is a very good feature in that because instead of that if you want to type we may commit mistake while typing the entering the amount Entering the figures, we may commit mistakes, lot of chances to commit mistakes. In such case, instead of typing, automatically the amount will be shown, will be taken or will be shown in the amount to call in the respective column. Wherever you want to make the calculation, there you just switch, take, keep the cursor there, then click all to see 
automatically the calculate will be calculated. You may calculate, for example, 586 into 789. We are making multiplication. 586 into 789, just see, 4, uh, 4 lakhs 62,354. 4 lakhs 60,354. So automatically, it is coming to the respective column. So like this, we can use with the help of all to see. Wherever you want to make the calculations, the amount column, keep the cursor in the amount column, then click all to see automatically calculate will be activated make the calculation and press enter the result will be shown here the same result will be taken to the respect to amount column in the tally okay so this is the best possible best thing for the using the calculator otherwise if you are calculating here and making the entry manually so instead of that we can use the calculator available in the windows as well as some external calculator you can use the same thing use and you can type that amount, isn't it? But there is chance of committing. So with the help of this built-in calculator in the tally prime, built-in calculator, tally ERP9 also is available. So with the built-in calculator, simply we can make the entry without entry, without manual typing. The same result calculation, calculated result will be automatically taken to the respective column. So it will be a better way. Okay, now, now there are some more features. First of all, now okay, we have opened the calculator and we know how to activate the calculator or how to activate the tally part, tally part and calculator part. So when you open the tally part is active, calculator will be inactive. If the calculator is active, tally will be inactive. Now, if you want to close this, what to do? So we opened it, made the calculation. If you want to close the calculator, what to do? Here, there are two methods for that. One is See on the right corner, there is into column. So if you click that, automatically the calculator will be closed. So here, again, I'm doing calculator will be closed. Otherwise, this is with the help of the mouse, we are clicking that. So instead of that, so with the help of calculator in the dashboard also, that's sorry, with the help of the keyboard also, we can make how we know. See here, if we, the calculator is active, if you click escape, so tally will be activated and calculator will be deactivated. Now, if you want to activate again the calculator, again, control N, isn't it? So in this case, what to do is there are two methods. Instead of this, instead of clicking the into, so when the calculator is active, we want to close it. You can click just opening, we click control N. Again, now also control N you can click. So it will be closed. It will be closed. So control N for opening as well as control N for Closing, but if it is active, when it is opened, it will be active. When you want to close it also with the help of control N, it should be active. Suppose if the tally part is active, tally part is active and calculator is inactive. Now, how to close the tally? I mean, uh, calculator. You know, understand. So, from it should be active, then only we can close. So, from tally, when, when the tally is active, to make Calculator activate, activate the calculator. You have to click Alt Control N. I said again closing also Control N. So when the tally is active, so for one one Control N for activating that calculator, again Control N for closing that. Just simply click Control Type N twice. That's all. One is one one is for activating the calculator Control N again N. Keep the Control Rest again, N, if you click, it will be closed. So, this is how to open and close with the help of opening us. Control N only when closing with the help of mouse or with the help of keyboard, how to close that. But there is a small problem here. See here, when you want to close this, so already the calculated results are shown in the white part. In the calculator, the results are shown. So, there is no option to delete, remove these calculations. We cannot remove these calculations. See, I told you, it's already, if you close this, so the calculator is closed. Again, if you open that, again, the results are shown. So if they will not be erased, they will not be removed. Then there is no other option for removing that. The only option is we have to close, quit. We have to close the tally, then open the tally. First of all, we have to close the total tally, 
then open the tally, then if you open that calculator, the old results will be removed, will not be shown. Understand? So that is the only drawback here. So here. So I'm taking this. So here, control N. See now, if you open that, the results which are already calculated, the calculated results are not available. So this is the thing about the calculator. Okay. Now, up to this, okay. How to open, how to close, then how to make the calculation and make automatic calculation automatically shown in the tally also. This will show and how to close it. If there is there are some calculated results, how to close them instead of them, you have to close the tally print. So up to this, everything is okay. There is one special feature, just like in tally print, there is one feature in the top, Alt G. Alt G means go to. Alt G means go to. Wherever you are working, from there, you can see any work. You can see any screen and see there and work there something. You can check out. Again, click escape. Again, you can, can come back to the original screen because without closing the work, we can go anywhere and we can do the work. So, bills we have, suppose you want to see the balance sheet, you can go and see the balance sheet. So, you have completed. So, we check up the balance sheet. Again, escape. So, we have, we came to this page. Like that, there is a special feature. Similarly, in the calculator also, there is a special feature in the calculator. See here, if you want to see the balances also, Alt G from there, we can go and check up the balances, go and select the some account and we can see the balance. Instead of that, by typing the name of that account here, we can see the balance itself. Here, for example, I will show you D A L. D A L. So see, D A L means display mode reports, account books, ledger. For example, I will take up State Bank of India. Not I will, will take up another. You will take up another country. Another country with that. Uh, I will tell you. Right. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it must not small. You will go to. You will go to. Bank return statement. Okay. Not now this. Okay. We will go to this. Okay. Yeah, the year is 2324. So 1422, 313, 23. Okay, now DAL. Okay. Here, in this case, if you want to see the balance of any account, for example, see here, if you want to see the balance of State Bank of India, for example, so here, you activate the calculator. Just type the exact name without spelling mistake. If you type spelling with mistakes, it will show cannot understand. So you have to type exactly. See, State Bank of India. I am swiping Unida, for example. So I type like before. I I type before D. Now you see what he says. Could not understand the word in the. So if you exactly if you type the. State Bank of India. So you see, it is showing exactly the closing balance of State Bank of India is 93,700. Now you check up in this. So here, B A L, State Bank of India. See, what is the closing balance? See, what is the closing balance? 93,700 is the closing balance. You check up 93,700. For example, we want to see customer V. Balance. So, what is the balance? Debit balance 2000. So, you go to this one. So, customer, exactly name. Customer, we, we are giving. See, 2000 is the debit balance. So, debit balance 2000. For example, supplier A. You want to see what is the balance? 90,000 is the credit balance. So, come to the calculator. Just give it. Sub, supplier A. Supplier A, you type. See. 19,900 rupees is the credit balance. So like this, if you can know any balance of any account, 
any account, you can see the balance here, but you have to type the name exactly. But small letters in is not a problem. So I type State Bank of India. I, if I type all the small letters also, okay, State Bank of India. So it will come. Like this, you can see. But in the case of stock items, it will not show the amount. It will show the balance of only the balance of stock units. That is, balance of the quantity. Only balance of the quantity. How many units, so how many numbers or pieces or cages, how many units are available, that closing balance only it will show. It will not show the amount. It will show the one result. Only the closing balance of units. Here, this is amount. It is showing the amount. There, it will show only the closing balance of units only. In the case of accounting ledgers, it will show the closing balance of any account. This is a special feature. We need not go to go to and go to that place, select balance sheet or select uh, the uh, voucher entries. Then we have to select everything or we have to go back and select. Instead of that, in any page, just simply, if you type here, you can get the balance of any account. This is a special feature. Okay. So with this, we completed the, totally we completed how to send the data to CR and any others or how to use the calculator. And tomorrow, we will take up a very important topic. That is this, I will have completed this, how to change the financial. We will take up how to make, prepare the bank reconciliation statement in Gary Print. This is a very, very, very important topic. The aggregate statement is a very, very important topic. Okay, so we'll take up that. So with that, I am closing the session today. So carefully follow the videos, practice them, and then you learn a lot of knowledge. You will become an expert accountant. I hope you all get gain very good knowledge, lot, I mean, uh, expert knowledge, and become expert accountants and wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye.